tutorial, I am going to demonstrate how to make a blanket stitch for all of you left-handed stitchers out there. I'm using a chenille number 24 needle and also some Valdani variegated number eight pearl cotton. This video is gonna be a little bit long because I'm gonna show you how to start, how to stitch an inside curve, how to start with a new length of thread and how to finish. So let's get started. I've had many students tell me the hardest thing about doing a blanket stitch is getting started. So hopefully I can show you an easy way to get started doing the blanket stitch. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come up through your background at the edge of your applique and you're gonna take a bite into the applique and you're gonna come out right at where your emerging thread is. Now the idea is to put your thread over to the right to catch the loop and you're gonna pull it through. You see I've caught the loop here and you're gonna pull it through. That's the easiest way to start. So the next stitch you're going to do is you're gonna take another bite into your applique coming out in your background with your working thread behind your needle and you're just gonna pull it through. And you're gonna keep doing this as you make your way around your applique. Now, I stitch in a clockwise manner because I'm left-handed, but if you're right-handed, you would stitch most times in a counterclockwise. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep going around, making sure my working thread is behind the needle to make a blanket stitch. Also keep in mind that because you're doing a blanket stitch, you don't need to whip stitch your applique piece in place. So I'm gonna keep working on this and I'll come back and show you how to handle the inside curve. Okay, so now I'm ready to do the inside curve of this little leaf. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a small stitch here I'm gonna take another stitch right here. And I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna take another stitch right here. And then I'm gonna keep going, blanket stitching around. So now I've come to the end of my thread and I need to start a new length. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to drop that stitch in the back and finish it off. Now, when I come to starting the new length of thread, all you're gonna do is you're going to come up right here in between these two stitches here and just pick up the next blanket stitch and keep going. So that's how you start and stop with a new length of thread. So now I'm ready to finish as I've stitched all the way around the applique. I'm gonna take this last stitch and to finish off, all you have to do is sink your needle to the right hand side of your first stitch to connect all of the stitches. And that's all there is to it. Check out my other videos on West Coast Wool.